Hey everyone! It seems like you guys were really big fans of our two other Movie Secrets videos where we explored amazing facts about your favorite films. We decided to make this a series to help quench your thirst for more movie knowledge. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Screen Rant's Know Your Movies, 20 amazing movie secrets that will blow your mind. Number 3. Mad Max Fury Road Actor Hugh Key's Byrne had his face hidden behind a mask as the villain of the Mad Max reboot, but audiences were originally going to see him play a superhero of a million faces, as the Martian Manhunter and director George Miller's cancelled DC Comics team-up, Justice League Mortal. When it came to editing Fury Road, George Miller turned to his wife, editor Margaret Sixel, claiming that if a man did it, it would look just like every other action movie. What she didn't know was that he had filmed over 480 hours of film in the desert, which took a full three months just to watch. Star Wars The Force Awakens Batman vs Superman director Zack Snyder took plenty of shots at director J.J. Abrams' Star Wars reboot, since both movies were filmed at the same time. But Abrams got the last laugh, including a scale model of Batman's Tumblr Batmobile on the outer hull of the Millennium Falcon. To keep his mind off of Star Wars when he wasn't filming, J.J. Abrams took in the Broadway musical Hamilton. When meeting the musical's creator, Lin-Manuel Miranda, backstage, Miranda told Abrams to call if he needed new cantina music. When it came time to record, Abrams made good on the offer, sharing vocals with Miranda in the finished song. Jurassic World There's no Jurassic Park without John Hammond, so director Colin Trevorrow made sure to add a bronze statue of the park creator in his big-budget sequel. It was assumed Hammond would have died prior to the movie, but when actor Richard Attenborough passed away before the release, the statue became a memorial to the man, not the character. The stars of the original movie are mostly left out of Jurassic World, but the return of Mr. DNA was total fan service. The director, a huge fan of the original, even recorded his impression of the late voice actor Greg Burson for a temporary track. The impression was so good, the audio team just left it in as is. Frozen Jennifer Lee was the first woman to direct a Disney movie, and given Frozen's success, she picked the right one. But fans probably didn't know that she also lent her voice to the movie, playing Elsa's mother, the Queen of Arendelle. The Avengers Age of Ultron Fans of Marvel's heroes were probably too distracted to notice the subtle war being fought between the team's two leaders. The official posters were split between putting Iron Man front and center or Captain America, a major hint at the conflict and civil war coming years later. Captain America The Winter Soldier no fan will forget the scene in which Cap takes down an elevator filled with S.H.I.E.L.D. personnel. What makes it even more impressive is that it was the first scene shot for the sequel, setting the stage for the gritty, hard-hitting follow-up story fans couldn't get enough of. The Lego Movie The directors of this toy adventure relied on CG to bring the Lego Movie to life, but they also used a ton of the real thing. Benny the Space Guy is only in the movie since director Chris Miller played with him when he was little. In fact, his actual space set is used in the film. Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel's shared universe means plenty of cameos from the same actors, but there's at least one problem. How is it that a young girl looking for Captain America's autograph is played by the same woman as Star-Lord's dying mother more than 40 years later? Actress Laura Haddock plays both, but is almost unrecognizable on her deathbed. It's hard to keep the tears back when Peter Quill reads the final note from his mother, and it was even harder for Chris Pratt. The actress had to quickly record the voiceover in the back of a car, just so Pratt could listen to it during the actual scene and truly sell the connection and flood of memories. Fans had some nitpicking to do when Star-Lord and Gamora float through space without any injuries, but the filmmakers actually worked with NASA on the science of the scene, learning that humans could survive just as long as the characters without serious health problems. X-Men Days of Future Past Surprisingly, Wolverine wasn't supposed to show his bare backside when he arrives in the past of 1973, but on the day of the shoot, Jackman told the director that if he were waking up to a beautiful woman, he wouldn't be wearing underwear. Everyone was convinced blurring the line on whether he's playing himself or Wolverine in that particular moment. It's never explicitly stated, but it's implied that Quicksilver is the son of Magneto, just as he was in the X-Men comics. Most fans accepted the idea immediately, probably not realizing that the on-screen father and son, Michael Fassbender and Evan Peters, are less than 10 years apart in age. Who knew? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The rebooted Turtles may be mutant CG creations, but the designers turned to real-life actors who summed up their personalities. Leonardo's face was based on Russell Crowe, Raphael on Clint Eastwood, Donatello on Leonard Nimoy, and Michelangelo on Bill Murray. Man of Steel Knowing that moviegoers always assume a superhero's costume exaggerates the actor's muscles, Zack Snyder and Henry Cavill wanted to prove their Superman was something different. Cavill refused steroids to help him build muscle before his shirtless scenes, dropping his body fat to the levels of professional bodybuilders, just 7%. Gravity Nearly every part of this space survival story was created in a computer, but that only gave the crew a chance at an incredible joke. At some points in the movie, reflections of a cameraman or boom mic appear in the astronauts' helmets, as if they were mistakes that slipped through editing. Instead, they were put there by the animators as an inside joke most viewers will never notice. Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice 
The workout demands for the Justice League lead-in were intense to say the least, with Henry Cavill packing on twice the muscle of Man of Steel. Not to be outdone, the physically larger Ben Affleck made sure to gain 30 pounds of muscle and dropped to just 8% body fat to make sure Batman was every bit as intimidating, even without the heat vision. Captain America Civil War the movie's not even here yet, but one of its most iconic shots has already been revealed. And it's not fiction either. The director's head star Chris Evans actually suspended between a crane and a helicopter, using his very real muscles to hold them together. CG isn't always the answer, apparently. Those are some of our favorite mind-blowing movie facts, but let us know which ones we missed and stay tuned for more. And remember, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.